Good day everyone. This is my last weekly update for quite a while as uh, I'm just about to take off and leave um, Melbourne, Australia into the ocean. Destination unknown. I'm waiting for the ferry uh, to load up right now. Now, uh, yeah, nothing too special in this weekly update. Just a regular update. No special effects whatsoever. But it'll be a while since I'll be able to check back in, so I figured I might as well leave you guys with something. And uh, leave myself with something. And it's, it's for me, mostly. Thank you. Good night. Taters, 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 ooh. There's, uh, there she is. She's walking towards me. She, she's walking towards me, and I'm waking up. I'm, 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 what? Tuesday. It's, it's Tuesday, and I, it's a year later. It's exactly one year from when... I started that video thing looking around thirsty. I drool in my sleep too much, but it's usually a good sign that I slept well. But even though I'm dreaming, I'm still so tired. I, I dream that I'm tired. I go. I'm here in the future, and the ocean just like dominates the beaches. It's too wild to swim in anymore can't touch it. I'm on the beach again and I, I tried to try to do something useful. I want I want to do something to help and maybe build a sandcastle or something cool like that but the wind's too strong. I can't quite figure out what I'm ah. and then um, where am I? I'm back on the beach. I gotta ask him a question. Gotta ask him a question. Mystery man spying on me. Black like, gotta figure out why. And watching me. Maybe like I could rumble in the Bronx and maybe just get started. I don't know. Make him answer me some things. A wise man, a shaman perhaps. He can make me a potion. I want some brekkie. I'm looking around for a good meal. Keep me hungry. That way my head won't, won't jump to so many conclusions all the time. The road plays tricks on your head and like you're alone and you don't know what to think. Getting close to the to the heart of the wilderness, I think maybe this ancient forest can teach me something, can send me away, and I won't be so, like, confused, and I look at this place, I, I think I could live in a place kind of like this, just gotta stay warm. I so better get going if I'm gonna make it to the heart of the wilderness by... Shit, hopefully it's half an hour or so from here. The wise man starts early and ends at the equinox. God! Long time since I've had a fire. So, what was that noise? Maybe nothing? Back to the fire. My Native American ancestor was named She Who Can Make Fire. My great grandmammy brought down that. What? There it was again. That. Damn it. 
You know, guys just trying to come out to the woods, have a spiritual journey. And something keeps sneaking up on them. Earlier I heard like some kind of hopping in the woods, like something hopping. I heard a hopping. You remember that you live in fear, and, like you can't believe you forgot. And I'm like, have I, have I been here before? Is this my house? Yeah, my life's pretty easy, but I think I get wound up a little bit too tight sometimes. I gotta smoke them a peace pipe and sit here, learn to chirp with the crickets. Yeah. Crickets. I think I lost my keys in this lake, which is a bad thing, but uh-oh, I don't care, because I can start the signal with my mind powers. I look at the road and it's being totally bombastic on my car tires. Is that the right word? Bombastic. Not the word I was looking for. I take a look around me to figure out where I am. No maps allowed in this adventure. No water either. And people, people call you crazy, but like, you know, the crazies and the paranoids are the people with all the facts. It's the crimes that make us human, you see, but I'm on a bus and a guy gets called up to come up front and the driver says, no, wait a minute, never mind, you know, dip your cookie in somebody else's milk. Oh, you gotta invest in like a company that transforms CO2 into ethanol or something like that, or, or space-based solar power. Um, something's always been fascinating, it's like the displacement of one thing's meaning and its culmination into the something of completely different resonance, you know? Like the swastika, which means auspiciousness, in like Hindu cultures becomes Hitler's flag and it becomes something totally different. Or like a plane crash for like a broken heart, or like a, I mean, can you change the meaning of anything as long as you always apply different pressures of importance to its meaning, power perspective? Does anything really mean anything as we know it? <laughs> there you go with your purple nonsense again. Do you really, like, yeah, well, I'm trying to anatomize the soul here. I'm trying to understand the situation. I'm in Queenstown. That's right. I think I remember now. Is Walking around Queenstown, there's plenty of like happy people here. And I just want to figure out where they are. Where are the happy people? Look around, I'd like to meet them. Check out their bumblebees. It reminds me of a story of this samurai who wouldn't let anybody cross the bridge. And uh, Adam Brooks. What are you doing there? It, it's kind of like looking at it graph of the of the universe and like all the little dots on the graph are soul and you see a drastic increase in the x-axis but who the fuck is this guy again where what are you doing man no 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 you gotta, you gotta, no 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 thinking the road's the safest place to be. And a cow jumps in front of you. You try to tell the cows, you try to tell them, move. Move. I think John Lennon said something like, you spend an eighth of your life just waiting for shit to happen. I don't think he used the word shit, but, you know. But you end up looking at something beautiful and you think like, wow. At the same time, how overwhelming would it be to sink all the way down there? How cool would it be to have like a B-movie? There's like spider sharks? Like sharks that were also spider-like creatures? And I'm back home again. Well, sort of one of my homes. It's the home on Argyle. I'm taking it slow and steady at the home on Argyle. But, um... Am I? Maybe I am underwater. Like I said, in there, slow and steady. <clears throat> at the end of the day, figure out how much you wanted in that backpack. And you start to, you, oh, he did exist. He did exist, and he's fucking with your head, Eric. He's back. He's messing with your mind. 
Octopus, 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 octopi, 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 nanners, clothes. Ah, I'm awake.